Jonas. I think I made something for Jonas, right? Yep, I made an oil. <laughs> You're right at the town square and look around for Jonas. But you can't seem to find him. Jonas, where are you? Psst, over here. You see a hand waving at you from behind one of the boots. Walk over and look behind it to find Jonas curled up in a ball and hiding his face. I, can I get that spell I requested? Um, yes? Safety oil. Is there a reason you're hiding over here? Jonas lifts his head as he takes the safety oil from you. Jonas, what happened to your face? And your arm? And probably more of you? Does it really look that bad? Let me see. Nothing that won't heal. So what exactly happened? My face, well, that's from a metal bar swinging into my eye. Then you can't see them, but all my fingers are bruised from missing nails, my hammer. Why are you supposed to be good at this building stuff? Usually I am. I pride myself on workplace safety. But sometimes something feels off. I see. Uh, like what? Maybe it's this whole being a boss thing. People ask so many questions and every time they do, it's when I'm in the middle of something. And then bam, there goes another finger. Okay, so you're not the best at multitasking is what I'm learning. No! So, why are you hiding? Because I have to demonstrate the new side of the crew in a few minutes. And you're afraid that I'm gonna saw my arm off. I see. Uh. Well, you've got your safety spell. That's it? We're talking about an arm or no arm here. You doubt my spell work? But no, it's just. Can you say a few, like, magic words or something? Magic words? Isn't that a thing witches do? Isn't that a thing witches do? Sure, maybe in children's books. Yes, of course. How does this sound to you? Moon crystal power makeup. <laughs> I love peanut butter sandwich. We'll say that. Well, you can speak ancient witch. Wait, why are you laughing? Pulling my leg, aren't you? Jonas! Jonas, where are you? Crap, it's almost time. I'm going to die. You've got to help me. Did you apply the safety oil yet? Oh, right. Jonas smears the oil all over himself. Okay. Okay. Now what? Go to your meeting? What the magic words? Jonas really does death without seeing for magic. You should show him how it's done. Or is it even looking up her? How about making him pay? Okay, here's the magic words. Uh, slow and steady, watch your back. Conjure a hard child of text. Wow, I think I can already feel them working. Maybe email's right. Magic is amazing. Alright, time to be fearless. Walk with Jonas over to this group of people. Can't wait to see your powerful magic shock and maze. Jonas takes his place by a massive saw. Hello, crew. Today I am here to give a demonstration from the Snoopy equipment you see right here. It's a giant saw. And I don't think I need to say this, but I'll say it anyways. A giant saw is not a toy. So, um, first you press this button here. Just as Jonas goes to hear the button, you hear a strange scraping sound. Anyways, just press this button and... Press the button and... Try to press the button here. Never making that noise, please stop. I barely heard the noise. I need to turn the sound effects back up. Okay. There might be a sudden noise that gets startled me again, but oh well. It's distracting me. Uh, boss? There, there it is again. Don't look now, but what? Have I chopped off? Have I chopped off my pinky and haven't noticed yet? As he left you, we grab it before he sees it. Grab what before he sees what? Jonas looks down. His face turns pale. The, 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 the turtle, turtle. Don't worry, we got it, boss. Whole crew descends upon the turtle, throwing it away from <laughs> Jonas. Jonas looks like he's about to pass out from here. Oh, so you're all right? I'll get him a chair. I'm gonna move up to you. Don't worry, boss. You'll just sit here and relax. Get the new cell figured out. It's Jonas is going more and more flustered. Get away from me! Jonas shoves his hands out of the crowd and takes off running. His crew stands around dumbfounded. Did I breathe the tree too long? You tiptoe away from that full sight. Maybe my magic was a little too strong then? But Jonas didn't cut off his arm, right? Hmm, yep. There's a there's bonus bit. Nisha! What do we have for Nisha? Something to help her. You walk to the and see Nisha standing frozen in the middle of the room. Stop! Don't come any closer. You'll get sucked into. Uh. Father, got your order? Quick, roll it to me. Okay. You take the freedom oil and roll it towards Nisha. However, uh, due to the oil's non cylinder form, it starts to veer off to the left. Almost! Nisha reaches for your bird for your Her feet appear to be glued to the floor. Fortunately, she manages to grab it just before it rolls out of reach. Got it. That oil will, won't help with whatever glue has you stuck to the floor. Not glue. The pressure radiating from the wall is trapping me here. 
When I wrote my overview, I could still at least move my feet a little. Now I can't move at all. Misha pops up, pops up the oil and applies it to her wrists. You wait a few moments. Then another few moments. Let me see if I can move now. Misha tries to her foot, but... Misha try. <laughs> okay, um, devs. Um, if you happen to see this, I think there might be a slight error. Because this is Nisha saying Nisha tries to lift her foot, but it's still stuck to the floor. I think this is supposed to be an action. Stupid oil, why isn't it working? Probably because you haven't actually saw what's keeping you from moving? Obviously, it's some sort of energy in the room. Well, yeah, but what energy exactly and why? That's what the oil is supposed to help you figure out. I don't have time for this. I need to get unstuck now. You need to stop and think about what's causing this. That's it. You're a witch? Um, yes. That means you can do energy readings, right? Um, what if you do an energy reading of me? Why would I? I just read about them in last month's COVID bulletin. They say energy readings can help you figure out what you're feeling. Apparently, they should be easy enough for a witch. Unless you're really, like, not a witch. Uh. I'm a witch. I can do energy readings with my eyes closed. Even though I've never done with them. My eyes open. What was that? Nothing. Now get into position. I can't move. Er, right. You should be fine as it is. Watch your grand do hundreds of energy readings, so it can't be that hard. But it's not like Nisha has an experience with energy readings either. She'll be able to tell if you're really seeing something or just making it up. Alright, let's see what we've got going on here. Seeing colors. Uh. Kind of orangey? Um, what does orange. Orange sounds positive. Like all sorts of colors. Orange, blue, white, red, and green. What does that mean? It means, um, lots of things. Things are complicated or deep and also, uh, confused. Yes, yes, that all makes so much sense. What else? Yeah, you mean what else do you see? How about the shape? Uh... And your aura radiates like a big bright star. Well, that sounds good. How to tell if it's radiating with positive energy or if it's about to explode. That may not be so good. This it seems like Nisha's buying it. But you're kind of running out of ideas. Let's wrap this up with one more element that you see. Looks like the world is concentrating around... Your, your head? Go back to the ground. Continue a sign of transformation or transcendence. Or if blocked, loss, sen loss of sense of meaning. Sounds a little intense. The so, rainbow and radiant energy located around my head. Okay, but what do these things combined mean? What is the deal with the stupid room and with me? Well, you see... Just as you're about to give your explanation, you realize you do feel strange energy. Like a simmer on the verge of boil. And it seems to want Nisha's attention. The energy should be coming from the room, or maybe from something else. Probably best if you focus on the aura reading. It's what Nisha asked for anyways. The rainbow colors I see indicates many factors at play. Meanwhile, the energy's radiant shapes. Does keep trying to persevere. However, the energy around your head means big, big new ideas are coming. But you need to seek them out. Huh, you sound like a legit witch there. There's nothing in here! What? No! It's just a loose shelf. Jenna should come over and fix it. No, I can feel it. Nisha, maybe that's the energy you're- No! Anyways, thanks for the spell and the reading. Look, I can move my feet again. Should I get back to work, don't you think? No, if you could just go so I can paint, that'd be great. Nisha starts pushing you out the door. Wait, Nisha! I might actually be on something. I can wait. Bye! Nisha slams the door behind you. Why does it feel like everyone in this village asking, asks for my help and then kicks me out? Devin, you won't kick me out, right? You walk up to the music studio. You oddly don't hear any sounds coming from inside. Devin, are you in there? The door creaks open. Someone peeks out. Evie, is that you? Yeah. And only you? As far as I can tell. You need to be quick. Devin opens the door and pulls you inside. Devin, what's going on? Oh, right, we're good. Look now and notice Devin is grasping your arm. Put your hand on theirs. Devin, listen to the hold of your own, on your arm. You want to talk about it? You're going to laugh at me. I never laugh at you. After what I did at the party, people come, keep coming to see me. Every time someone knocks on the door, I put on a fake voice and tell them I'm not here. But I don't think it's very convincing because they keep coming. And now everyone just thinks I'm weird. That means the spell worked. You're not supposed to think I'm weird. Not bad. The fact that people are coming to see you. I guess. I think I've caught a slight cold from the swim. I've been feeling drowsy and unable to focus all day. I see. Um. I only have so much control. Sometimes sacrifices must be made. I 
I have so much control. I'm sure after today you'll feel much better. Honestly, I'm jealous of people like Nisha and Jonas. I, I combine people and Nisha. People with big personalities can walk into a room full of confidence and people notice them. But for me, I feel like such a background person. And then, when I get my time in the spotlight, I just get overwhelmed. I feel like I should be more like them. Then I would have a role in social situations. A role? Like a job? I guess. I mean, like, what do I bring to the table? I'm just the dull, quiet person who stands in the corner. People only come to see me now because they think I'm something else. But don't you want to be someone else? Wasn't it New Summer, New Me or something? I was wrong. I want to be the quiet person who stands in the corner, but that doesn't feel interesting enough. Sorry, I'm being such a downer right now. But I don't know what to do. Hmm. Take their hand. I'm sorry you're feeling this way. I know I'm also not the most socially experienced person, but I don't think you're dull at all. I appreciate your more quiet nature. A lot of social stuff is overwhelming for me, too. So you can count on me to stand in that corner with you. Thanks, Evie. That means a lot to me. I don't know about you, but I feel like there's this pressure, like I need to be socializing all the time. And if I don't make the most of it, I've somehow failed. Is that... Is that what I'm supposed to be feeling, too? No, no, no! I spread my anxiety again. This is... This is pretty hard. Well... I'm not the only new person here, at least. Yep, feel free to vent about me about the awkwardness of a doll. You can vent me to me, too. And we can help each other summon the courage to keep marching forward. We shall rule all over the quiet back corner, corner of every party. Yes, it shall be open to everyone who wishes they weren't at the party. I'm really glad you stopped by. I'm feeling much better now. I'm glad. I should get going, though, and let you rest. Thanks. Also, if you see anyone looking for me on your way out, tell them you aren't here. Got it. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Pink? Ooh. Burgundy. Burgundy? That's burgundy? Burgundy is a color used for manifesting. I could open up and summon up the energy to make things happen. Let me write this down in my grimoire. Burgundy. Burgundy. That's what that is. It's burgundy. Not, not maroon. Not magenta. Even though it feels like magenta. Okay. Home. Oh. I already got you something. How are we doing on proportions? Is there anything I missed? Kaka. All the URs are done for today. I've checked in on everyone today. Kaka. I know everything needs to be perfect. Full moon ritual. That's why I asked. Okay, well, now we're gonna go back to bed. Ready to end the day? Yes. Ah. That was not that long ago. Wait, I don't know how long that- I don't know when I started that day. Hello, Ramsey! Huh? It's treat time. Okay, okay. Oh, crow treat coming up. And that's not for today. Grant says too many treats are bad for your peak. What day is it? Oh, it's Friday. <laughs> the full moon is in two days. Is it right? Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen on the full moon. Well, it should be interesting, to say the least. Dear Evie, I feel like there's so much I want to say, and yet I can't bring myself to say it. Unfortunately, this can cause some conflict with the festival planning committee. Perhaps special guests all on the same page? Uh. Oh, God. Ruth. Ocean. Heart. Purple. Cause that's not black game. Mars. Mars looks like a guy. It looks like a little guy. I think I have a solution, but I want nothing else to go wrong during my attempt. I need to know what I've truly figured. I need to know if I've truly figured it out. Could I get another charm? Okay. Jean needs a charm. That's star. Orange. And I can't remember what that is. Okay. Except, oh, Devin! Yay! I love Devin. I'm feeling a little lost about uh, what kind of music to write. I feel like I'm not capturing Flora. I don't know. Maybe someone else has a good idea. Maybe a person could help too. Okay. Devin. Ocean. Plus. Uh, blue. 
and then the same symbol. So we have at least one overlap. Except, now we go to Grimoire. Ants. So we need a rose. Oh wait, that's not that's not how I wrote. I need a bottle. Bag. Bottle. Rose. Uh, chamomile. Chamomile. <laughs> and lavender. Lavender. Okay. Allium for purple. Because that's what that is. Purple. Calendula. I said it right this time. And blue is pea flower. I totally accidentally made that one word. Uh, okay. Yarrow. Um, and geranium times two. Okay. Oh, uh, so inventory. So I need to get two bottles in a bag. Sack. Sashay. Um, I have the main things that I need, and I have the minor things that I need. So we just need to do general maintenance in the garden. Okay, that's all of that. And then we'll pull weeds. And then water. Okay, there we go. That's all water. I really enjoy this game. I know I've said this before. But I really like it. It's very calming. Mostly. I also like the visual no novel aspects of it. And then water. And then oh nope, I need the gloves. Gloves. Okay. I don't know how I got a negative one. Uh, we need to go to the village and buy two bottles and a bag. Uh, one, two. A bag. Oh, and now we make the potion stuff. So we take a bottle, open that, we get rose, allium, yarrow, sir. I'm getting faster at this stuff. Chit chat potion and keep crafting. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll make that next. Lavender, pea flower, geranium. Lavender. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> there it is. Devin. That wasn't purple. <laughs> that was blue. Okay. I need allium. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out when I do the footage, and it's gonna be like, no, it was actually purple. It was actually purple. Or no, it was actually blue. Eh. I was right, though. It was blue. It better be blue. Success. Finish. Okay.